This is the 2024 Kia Sorento Phase 3. Welcome YouTube. This is Yunki Ride. While some people might say there aren't many significant changes and it is more a partier update, let's take a closer look at what has actually changed. First, the most noticeable change is the front end design. The headlight, which used to be horizontally elongate, are now vertically stretched. This style is reminiscent of the recently released Kia EV9. These four LED headlights give it a futuristic and stylish look. Many of Kia's recent cars feature this LED light. It's likely that upcoming Kia Sedona facelift will also adopt a similar look. What you're seeing here is the Sorento hybrid model. It is fully loaded but comes with 18 inches wheels for better fuel efficiency. Aside from the wheels, there aren't many significant differences in the exterior. You will notice the HEV logo at the rear maybe the difference of the grille. Despite being an SUV, the Sorento uniquely comes with a DCT dual clutch transmission. Lately, most Hyundai and Kia new models have been using 8-speed automatic transmissions, but the new Sorento and the Santa Fe comes with 8-speed DCT, which is a notable feature. However, the 1.6-liter turbo hybrid model use a 6-speed automatic transmission. Impersonally, I think automatic is better. But Hyundai has developed this new 8-speed wet DCT, which is known for its durability, quick shift, and overall good performance. Facelift in the automotive world means making new models with minimal change. Focusing mainly on the exterior design, in the case of the Sorento, the side profile of the car remains identical to the previous model. The front bumper hood and the headlight have been updated to create the new model. In other words, if you own an older Sorento, you could potentially upgrade it with the new part. This car is Sorento 2.5 liter turbo, fully loaded with the black package option. It is white, but the black package adds a touch of sophistication. Personally, I think going for the black color with the black package option is the best choice. The wheels grill, window molding, roof rack, and many other elements are in black. The interior is also available in all black options. Thanks to the new 12.3 inch dual card display, the interior feels quite modern. The door trim, rear seating space, and trunk space haven't changed. In Korea, the starting price for this car, excluding tax for the 2.5 liter turbo model, it is 26,591 US dollar. There are three engine options available. The most expensive is the 1.6 liter turbo hybrid. The best seller is the 2.2 diesel. And the most cost effective option is the 2.5 liter. This cityscape green color is originally from the Nero but has been added to the Sorento now. That's it for today's Sorento review video. I hope it helps with your buying decision. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. And next time, I will try to answer them through a test drive. Thanks for watching and until next time, this has been Yunki's review for non-car experts.